Hello everyone, it's Myla. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my, my, <laughs> my light shaking, um, my March empties, what I melted for the month of March. Um, I wanted to go over this, uh, but I was trying to like catch up on some of my um, wax orders that I've placed and uh, yeah, it's time to go over these March empties so I can get them in the recycle bin. Um, and yes, so, uh, I hope you are all doing well. I just got home from work and I was like, let's get these empties done. So yeah, let's get into this. Um, so I do have it kind of, this is all of it here. Well, these are the bags and then I have, um, like a bag of like clamshells, tubs, stuff like that. And if I have time, I'll go over like what I'm kind of working on and stuff. So we'll just start with this random or uh, pile. So, okay, come on. The paper clip gets stuck. Okay. All right. So the first one I have here is the Starlet Corner and it's um, ice cream cake. It's strawberry white cake and blueberry cheesecake and ice cream. This was really, really good. Um, Nice blueberry and strawberry. This performed really well. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, I would repurchase this because this did really well and I like the blend. So nice fruity blend with some ice cream. So that is ice cream cake from the Stalet Corner. Oh my goodness. I loved this blend. This is, um, and this is from L3 Waxy Wonders and I believe I saw it on the She's having like Scoopa Palooza. <laughs> Scoopa Palooza, I think is what it's called. Um, and uh, this is, is it called Amityville? And it's uh, cashmere twilight woods warm uh, vanilla sugar. This is so beautiful. If I can snag at least one, I would be very happy with that. Um, hopefully I will be able to. I'm like, what's the date today? Hopefully I didn't miss it. This is Amityville, and this performed so well. It was just so pretty with the um, cashmere twilight woods. It's that twilight woods, but it had like a cashmere note. And then you have warm vanilla sugar in there. It was just a, like a pretty body care. Um, you get the twilight woods in there too, um, if you're familiar from like Bath and Body Works. But yes, this is really, really pretty. And this was a bougie bar from L3. Yes, I will be on the hunt for this blend. It's so, so pretty. Okay, L3 again. This is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Yes, this was a, I always get them confused, Trig Tar Bougie Bar. <laughs> this was a nice fruity um, blend. It kind of reminded me a little bit of like tropical because you get them... This passion fruit, this kiwi in this. Yeah, I melted this on its own. It did very, very well. And this is from L3. Um, Aloha kiwi passion fruit. Yeah, really, really pretty. Okay. This is another L3. This is coconut cream pie and zucchini bread. Um, and of course, I, I love her zucchini bread but um with the coconut cream pie i feel like it lightened it up a little bit but i still enjoyed it that was a puppy pack that was coconut cream pie and zucchini bread um this was really pretty this is from savannah blue this is sunwashed citrus it's um chris lennon citron agave and musk yeah this was nice it was clean it had that citrus note to it and then there was a little bit of musk, but I enjoyed it. There was lemon in there too, but yeah, I enjoyed that from this uh, Savannah Blue. Sun Wash Citrus. Uh, this was a, I think this was like a blending bar from um, Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Cotton Candy Frosting. Um, this was pretty, um, but I, I didn't blend with it. I wanted to see how it would do on its own and um, this was kind of like light to medium uh it's just cotton candy frosting but it was still pretty um that is called Lark larkin from sassy girl aroma yeah i had like two um of those bars left in here and it's kind of it was kind of like sitting there for a little bit and i'm like you know what let's try these out but still 
Sassy Girl Aroma is a great, great vendor. So, okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, another Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Breakfast of Champions. This is Jelly Donut Crunch Berries and Sugar Cookies. Um, this one was light too. Um, I had another bar of this and then I got this one, um, in a D stash, but I mean, it was still nice. It wasn't like I couldn't smell it, but sometimes I feel like jelly donut depends. Sometimes jelly donut can be really strong or sometimes I feel like it can, um, lighten up a blend, but you had crunch berries and sugar cookies, but pretty, but, um, a little light breakfast of champions. Um, oh my gosh, this is so good. This is Beach Night Cookies from Lavender and Speckles. This is uh, Beach Night's Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Excuse me. <laughs> Burping. <laughs> I just ate some Chinese food. <laughs> and uh, Sugar Cookie Royale. This is so pretty. And I love her Beach Night's blend. So this is uh, Beach Night Cookies. Yes, I would repurchase this. Really, really good. Great, great Beach Night's blend. So, and I picked up a sampler of her Beach Nights blend. So, yes, I believe that is in there. <laughs> this is so, this was really good. This is, um, I think I was like on a Beach Nights kick for a moment. So this is Old Beach Roller Coaster from um, Salt Mountain Melts. And it is Black Beach Nights Funnel Cake and Blackberry. Very, very nice. This wasn't. Uh, like strong, but boy, did this last. Um, even like, like I had this, I, I would turn my warmers off and come back and turn them back on. And I could still like smell the beautiful beach nights blend um, with the blackberry. But toward the end, the blackberry would die out and you would just get the beach nights and maybe a little bit of funnel cake. But this was a really nice blend. I just couldn't believe how long this lasted. This is um, Old Beach Roller Coaster from Salt Mountain Melts. Yes, I would repurchase that. <laughs> oh, another great one. This is Savannah Blue. This is Lua, or Lua, Lua Punch. Cherry Slushy, Blue Hawaiian, Pina Colada, Satsuma, and Cotton Candy Skies. This was a very fruity... Um, tropical blend really enjoyed this a lot like i'm starting to get more into my fruity blends like this yeah this was pretty it's very like tropical fruity um very very nice kind of like a fruit punch but it had a tropical um because you get the pina colada in that as well um and that blue hawaiian in there too which kind of leaned a little coconut but yeah this is really pretty lua lua punch savannah blue very nice another savannah blue uh this is triple layered fizzy cherry fizz strawberry fizz and lime soda nice bright fruity blend this took me a minute to get through it but i finally finished it up um, so if you like that fizzy soda type of scent, you would love this because it's cherry fizz, strawberry fizz, and lime soda. I like that. So, um, and that was from Savannah Blue and that was called Tripper Layered Fizzy. Oh, this was so good. Uh, this is probably one of the best, uh, strawberry buttercream cupcakes I've had in my collection sugar melts by stacy strawberry buttercream cupcakes so good so strong um yeah this took me a moment to get through this and i finally finished it up sugar melts by stacy strawberry buttercream cupcakes a great strawberry blend and it was strong too very very nice sugar melts by stacy and I have um, a custom from Kay's that I did. So this is blueberry cornbread and pumpkin pecan waffles. Waiting for Kay's to open back up. I have like a cart going and I'm like, <laughs> but I'm trying to work through some of my like customs that I um, made with her. So, and this was one of them that I did like last year or the year before. 
but yeah, really, really good. Blueberry cornbread and pumpkin pecan waffles. And if you like that blend, you would love this because Kay's does it really well. And I believe I had it from Sassy Girl Aroma first. And um, yeah, Kay's did it very, very well. Okay, let's get into Vintage Cheek. Okay, I did a pretty good job getting through some of these blends. Um, this is Love is Like a Butterfly, Pink Chiffon, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. One of my favorite blends um, from her. I have a lot of favorites from Vintage Chic, but this put me on the whole Pink Chiffon in my wax, um, especially mixed with Fresh Picked Strawberries and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Like I even had Kay's make this for me um, with Sugar Cookie Royale or Cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's really, really good. But yes, um, I believe I have um, another be big bag of this, uh, which is Love is Like a Butterfly. Pink Chiffon, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Really, really good. Oh, this was pretty too. This is called Slow Ride from Vintage Cheek. Sugared Strawberries, Stoff Root, and Sweet Grass. I have one more bag of this. I think my heart is backwards on there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice because you get the fresh grass in there. It's a sweet grass, and I like the sweet grass. Um, and then you have uh, strawberry and starfruit mango. It was like fruity, and then you get that grassy note, but the grass wasn't, I don't know, it just came off clean, like fruity, clean. Mm, this was really, really nice. So um, if she ever makes this blend again, I would definitely repurchase it. So that is from Vintage Cheek Scents, Slow Ride. Uh, another one is Barbie Eat Your Heart Out. It's uh, Pink Sugar Satsuma Strawberry Cotton Candy. These very strong, by the way. <laughs> very, very strong. It's the Satsuma. And then you have um, Pink Sugar and Strawberry Cotton Candy. This is nice. I have a few more bags of this blend. So, yes, a nice um, bright... <laughs> It's that Satsuma, and if you're familiar with Satsuma, it's very strong, um, like bright, fruity scent blend, I should say, but it's nice because there's strawberry and cotton candy in there too, so that is a classic scent. Barbie, eat your heart out. Um, I finished all, I'll get you my pretty, mango papaya, mango sorbet, and fresh picked strawberries. Yeah, this one kind of reminded me of, um, I enjoyed this because I love like mango and peach and strawberries together. It reminded me of, is it California Lovin' or California Dreamin' by her? Yeah, it's really pretty um, with the strawberry and the mango. I like that. I'll get you my pretty. And um, all the vintage chic, I mean, so far what I went through were uh, pretty good. Um, paper rings. This is a nice blend too. This is champagne toast and wedding cake sprinkled with shimmery brown sugar. Yes. Paper rings from Vintage Cheek Scents. Is this, um, is this part of the Taylor Swift collection? I think it is. But it's nice because you got champagne toast in there, which brightens it up. And then you got wedding cake in there, which is a little bit, um, it's sweet bakery vanilla-ish and then you have brown sugar too this is a unique blend this was like a medium throw but it was still pretty i enjoyed it that is paper rings by vintage cheek scents this is oh this was so good cupcakes at the cafe yummy rich vanilla strawberry cupcakes another great blend from vintage cheek scents it's just strawberry and vanilla. <laughs> yeah. Cupcakes. It was like strawberry. Cupcakes. Just like it's described. Cupcakes at the cafe. Whoo, this one was so strong. Um, but it was so good. Um, I like this much better on warm, but let me go over the blend. It's called Bend and Snap. It's pump up the strawberry jam, fizzy pops, and a splash of orange sunrise delight. Just like a bright fruity blend especially with the orange and the strawberry mixed together and then there's a little bit of fizzy pop in there but not too much 
Um, this was way better on warm um, than it is on cold. So, uh, yeah. And I have a couple more of these in my collection. But, yeah, I like this a lot. Mm. Bend and Snap from VCS. And this one, um, this is Silver Springs. I these were oh these were the postcards by the way that's why the bag's kind of big and then this was another postcard this is uh silver springs butter mints vanilla lace and vanilla bean noel this was like a medium throw um but it was really pretty because you got butter mints in there you have vanilla bean noel and you got vanilla lace and i and i believe it probably because of all the vanillas that kind of lightened it up a little bit but it was like a soft vanilla peppermint scent very very nice though sometimes when i'm in the mood for like peppermint um yeah i probably wouldn't get this but this is good for someone who isn't too crazy about peppermint and likes a little more of a vanilla in their peppermint yeah this is nice silver springs Me about a medium throw on that okay how are we doing on time Whew. all right you know what let's work on rose girls Okay. Okay, I finished this. This is scoopable wax melts. Um, Cake by the Ocean. I finished this loaf. This is one of her chunky loaves. Oh my gosh. Um, I have another loaf in my collection, so I, I no need to repurchase it. But um, it is Cake by the Ocean, uh, birthday cake, Florida Key Lime Pie, and Strawberry Pound Cake, classic scent. This is so, so good. I love it. I think that's something I always have to have in my collection, Cake by the Ocean. Okay. I paper clip it, and then they don't want to come out. So it's like, all right. Here we go. Okay, so I was working through some of my samples and like, um samplers so this is coffee in salem absolute coffee pumpkin pecan waffles campfire marshmallow vanilla and sandalwood um from rose girls i like this but um it's the campfire marshmallow and vanilla sandalwood that i wasn't too crazy about at the end when this was melting um i do enjoy pumpkin pecan waffles and absolute coffee but the campfire marshmallow and sandalwood, I don't know. It just, I felt like it gave me a headache, but it could have just been me because I probably wasn't feeling good. But that is coffee in Salem. Still a great blend. It performed well. So this is serendipity, cotton candy frosting, Gilligan's brew, and cookie land. I think I melted one of these. I, I had a couple of these. So it's coconut with um, Gilligan's brew which is more coconut. Um, so serendipity, cotton candy, and Gallivian's brew. So it was very coconut, and it's like a coconut blend with um, cookie land. So yeah, I didn't mind this, but I finished that up. Um, this is cinnamon, sugar, bear claws, and pretzels. Yeah, this was nice. I enjoyed this. Great performer, too. Nice cinnamon sugar with that pretzel note from Rose Girls. Yeah, and you get that bear claws in there too. And I finished Blueberry Cobbler and Tea and Cakes. I believe this was my last one. Yeah, I gotta be on the lookout for this blend. <laughs> oh, I have like a, a lot of Rose Girls to go over, but this is a great blend, Blueberry Cobbler and Tea and Cakes. And if you like tea and cakes like I do, you would like the Blueberry Cobbler. So mixed with that, really nice. Okay, um, scoopable wax melts. This is soothing lavender dreams, sweet lavender, marshmallow smoothie, and baked zucchini. Yes, you know what? It's funny because I seen this blend Rose Girls offered it, and I was going to get it, and then I didn't end up getting it, or I believe it sold out quickly. And then I got this in a mystery from Kathy. Um, so I was like, wow, I'm like, let me try it. The lavender, the marshmallow, and the baked zucchini go so well together. It doesn't come off zucchini-ish. I feel like it comes off like a lavender bakery. Yeah, really pretty. I would get this again. Soothing Lavender Dreams from Scoopable Wax Melts. 
I finished strawberry three cakes from one of my samplers. Strawberry three cakes, yellow cake, birthday cake, strawberry pound cake, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Great, great blend. Love the um, three cakes blend. Really good. Um, I finished raspberry coconut three cakes, yellow cake, birthday cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's with um, raspberry coconut. Yeah, this was really pretty with the raspberry coconut. I enjoyed this and I think I have a scoop of it left in this. So, yes. Um, Florida Key Lime Pie from Rose Girls. Great Florida Key Lime Pie. Great Florida Key Lime Pie blend. Okay. Um, this is Strawberry Circus Cookies. Strawberry Jam Frosted Circus Cookies. This was really good. I had a, a pack of strawberries in this. Really, really good. Um, I even took this blend with me um, to Florida, and I brought it and I brought it back because I only melted so much down there. And um, and I had it in my little mini candle crock. Just the strawberry and that um, circus animal cookies. It's just really, really good. So, and her strawberry is really, really good too. Strawberry jam. So that is from Scoopable Wax Melts. Rainbow Sherbet. Sherbet from Rose Girls. This is so good. I like this. I would repurchase this again. Um, I believe I purchased some blends with some Rainbow Sherbet or Sherbet in it. Yeah, I enjoyed this. And this really, this did well. And this was a little, this was a couple years old. So happy to have finished this one up. Um, I finished Cherry Snow Cone from Rose Girls. It's a cherry blend. Um, I wasn't too, too crazy about it, but it wasn't, like, too heavy on the cherry. But I didn't mind it, so Cherry Snow Cone from Rose Girls. I finished Luke's Diner, and I believe I'm working on... Luke's Diner upstairs from Scoopable right now. Luke's Diner, absolute coffee, pumpkin, pecan, waffles, pancakes, and vanilla crunch donuts. Really, really good. Really, really good. Luke's Diner. Great coffee blend. Great. Um, another from Rose Girls, Super Sweet Mario. I finished this up because I was like, now that I had bought three bags of it. I love Super Sweet Mario. It is um, pink sugar, royal sugar cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and cotton candy frosting. If you like pink sugar bakery, you would absolutely love this. Super Sweet Mario from the Mario collection. Yes. Um, I think, I believe this was from the Mario collection. I was like finishing up some of my Mario collections from not last year, the year before. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting lost in the years lately. Uh, jam and jelly. Strawberry jam, raspberry sauce, blueberry cobbler, blackberry jam, butter cookies. Did I say that right? Cookies and peeps and cakes. Beautiful. Love it. Smells like jelly, actually, because you get all those fruits mixed together. You don't get much, um, like, peeps cakes or... Um, peeps cake i should say it's because you're heavy on the strawberry jam raspberry sauce blueberry cobbler blackberry jam butter cookies yeah i would repurchase this it's really good really really good jam and jelly from the rose girls um mario collection i believe koopa claus is coming to town oh this is so good another one of my favorite blends from the mario collection royal sugar cookies gilligan's brew and baked zucchini bread excellent what a excellent um zucchini blend this is i love this and um i believe i bought a i have two more bags to go through so happy to have it koopa claus is coming to town um ludicrously Lu lucky luigi this is florida key lime pie berry licious and vanilla bean noel yes from her mario collection i finished that up this is nice because you get the Florida Key Lime Pie and you get a berry blend in there. And then there's Vanilla Bean Noel. So I like that because I feel like the berry licious toned down the Florida Key Lime Pie. But yeah, this was good. Ludicrously, Ludicrously Lucky Luigi. I like her names. They're funny. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is the whole world. Pink sugar bergamot and the olive branch, which is lush type. What a pretty, pretty blend. I believe I was going through my stash um, looking for this. And I don't think I, I have something similar to this. Like I have the pink sugar and I think I have the olive branch, like in single sense. But I would definitely get the whole world again. It was so beautiful. A beautiful pink sugar blend. Mm. Very, very nice. Body care leaning, but I absolutely loved it. Very good. And then I finish Fairy Dust Snow Cone. Lemon, lime, snow cone, berries, and cotton candy. A very bright, fruity. You mostly get the lemon, lime. Um, I know there's berries in there um, and there's cotton candy. So, yes, I enjoyed it. Fairy Dust Snow Cone. Okay, I'm going to take a break and I'll be right back. Okay, hello. Um, all right, let's get into this stack. <laughs> yeah, stop getting caught on here. Yeah. All right. So this, this is like a mix of vendors, but we'll get into this. This is Salt Mountain Cherry Semifredo. Semifredo. Um, I received this in a D-stash. Um, yeah, as you can see, you can probably see the cut um, slice in there. This was a nice cherry blend. I actually liked it. It was very nice. Um, it performed well. It was a nice cherry blend from um, Salt Mountain Melts. I finish um, Palo Santo, uh, wood, sage, warm vanilla musk, and cedar from Rainbow Melts. Very nice, Palo Santo. I believe I blended with that. Um, I finished <laughs> Waxy Taffy. Um, this is a car air freshener, and it's Tiffany's Pink Sugar Strawberry. Yes. Love her car air fresheners. They are excellent. If you're looking for one, she has great car air fresheners. I love them. So, Waxy Taffy. Um, this is Up the Creek Scents. This is Sweet Buttermint and Sugar Cookies. This is Ruby Sue. A nice buttermint blend. And then you get the sugar cookie in there, too. So, I finished that. Very nice. Oh, I love this blend from Kay's. Um, this was from her 2023 collection, um, summer collection or sampler that she had. Um, Blackberry Bliss, uh, fluffy towels, and swimming pool. Yeah, this is great. I love these type of blends like in the summertime. I like the swimming pool and like the fluffy towels. Like that goes so well together. And then you get a hint of blackberry in there. Really pretty. Pretty, pretty blend from K's. Broadway Wax. I finished Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Butter Fudge, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Really, really good. Uh, Broadway Wax. Really good. Yeah. Love Broadway. Uh, K's. This was a sample. Volcano. I believe Volcano is kind of fresh. Oh my gosh, the bag's like... Yeah, very pretty though, like a fresh type of fruity. I think believe there's a little bit of fruit in it too, um, Volcano. But yes, K's, love K's. Um, this is Sassy Wax Melts. This is actually her older formula. This was Fall Coffee Stop Coconut Pumpkin Latte Espresso French Vanilla Latte. Yeah, this was nice actually. Very, very nice. A nice coffee blend. You get pumpkin in there. There's coconut, um, French vanilla. Really, really pretty, actually. Um, and this was on her old formula, so that was from Sassy Wax Melts. I didn't know if it had a name. Oh, the Creek Scents. Buttermint Marshmallow Cookie Bakery. Fabulous. Really, really good. Love my buttermints. Melted this at night. Mm, really good. Uh, this is morning, merry morning, frosted cinnamon rolls and espresso. Very nice. A nice coffee blend, not too heavy on the coffee because there is frosted cinnamon rolls in this. So yes, I enjoyed that. Merry morning from Rainbow Melts. 
Oh my gosh, I need to get have her um, make this or request it because this is so pretty. This is Pink Princess, pink, sh pink Sugar, Pink Chiffon, Pink Cotton Candy, and Berries from Rainbow Melts. Oh my goodness, this was such a pretty, pretty blend. Actually, my Rainbow Melts um, pre-order just came in too, so I will eventually go over that. As well as my Teddy Bees and um, the Pharmacist Daughter. I will eventually get to all of those. <laughs> okay. Um, sea Sugar uh, Candy Coma. This is really, really pretty. This was a souffle. And it was lavender, pink sugar crystals, um, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, and vanilla bean noel, and cotton candy frosting. Very, very pretty lavender blend. Yeah, I like this. Um, I got this. I think I got this from my friend Lisa. But um, I've never... I mean, I have, I think I might have a couple more other blends from Sea Sugar, but I feel like it's kind of hard to order from. Um, but maybe one day I'll be able to place an order with Sea Sugar Melts. Yeah. Okay. That was Candy Coma, by the way. <laughs> um, 38 cents. I finished frost, Frosted Circus Animal Cookies. Uh, very, very good. A great cookie blend frost frosted animal cookies yeah I enjoyed that 38 cents Traverse City uh, fall baking at Tiffany's uh, secret pumpkin bakery blend this was so good and so strong really really good I enjoyed this a lot it was a pumpkin bakery and it was strong I don't know what else is in there, but boy, I would repurchase this. Very, very good. Um, I bought this in a D stash. Actually, I got a D stash, and I it was like one of the mystery ones. And she, um, it was like I think there was like a leaf or two in here, but this like blew up my whole downstairs. I absolutely loved it. I would repurchase this. Um, I'm looking to get a little more Traverse City in my um, collection. Silky Soaps uh, Bartlett Pear. This was pretty. And at first I was like, I didn't like it on cold. I was kind of like, eh. And then I, I, it was a bunch of um, like little cubes. And this is really, what a pretty blend. If you like pear scents, you would love this. Yeah, I got to put that aside because I would repurchase that. Maybe I can do it in a customs with her. Silky Soaps. She's another great vendor, too. Silky Soaps. Uh, the Pharmacist's Daughter. Did I say my pre-order came in? Yes. I think I did. This is Good Cobs, and it's iced um, almond cookies, zucchini bread. This was so good. Oh, my goodness. This was so, so good. Her zucchini bread is really good, and then you have the iced almond cookies in there. Yes, I absolutely enjoyed this. I would repurchase this, but I believe I have enough of her zucchini in my collection. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I can always add a little more <laughs> good carbs from uh, the pharmacist's daughter. Uh, Rainbow Melts. This is so pretty. I think I have one more in there. This is Let It Snow. Sweet Snow Taffy, Peppermint, Swizzle Sticks, and um, White frosted white cake. I would absolutely, absolutely repurchase this again. This is such a pretty peppermint. I melted this at night and I have one more of this blend in my collection, but it's, it's one that I really, really enjoyed for my nighttime melting. Let it snow by rainbow melts. <laughs> um, hot towels from the pharmacist daughter. I put this in my son's room. <laughs> This is Barbershop Blue Sugar Fluffy Towels. I figured this would be like a, a good scent or a good blend for like a boy's room. It is, you get that barbershop, but there is blue sugar too. And um, the fluffy towels, which is kind of laundry a little bit. This was strong, by the way. But um, yeah, I mean, no complaints from him, but I did put that in his room. <laughs> And this one, I have one more blend of this. This is this is another great blend from the pharmacist daughter. This is 
after dinner treat. It's Twisted Peppermint, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Sugar Cookie Royale. Yes. It was like a nice creamy peppermint. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like Let It Snow. A little bit. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this. So, the pharmacist's daughter. Okay, how are we doing on time? <laughs> Okay, let's get into eek. Don't drop these, Myla. Um, I finished this blend up from Swanky. It is so oh, this was so good and this performed so well. It's a bakery bag. Um, buttery toast and jam, pumpkin pecan uh waffles. That um pumpkin pecan waffles and blueberry and that buttery toast and jam. What a beautiful blend this is. I would absolutely repurchase it. But I still, I bought a loaf of the, just the buttery toast and jam. And um, I still have the buttery toast and jam sampler that I need to finish. So I may wait before I do that. But that blueberry and pumpkin go very well with it. Swanky. Yes. Oh my gosh. I finally finished this from Teddy B's. Is this in the way? Uh, let me put it down over here. Um, sweetheart cookies. Love this. I would. It's like I didn't want to finish it up because I was. I loved it so much. Pink sugar, uh, frosted sugar cookies, shortbread birthday cake, and sweet melt. This is an absolute repurchase for me. Oh my gosh, it's like probably one of my favorites. Uh, pink sugar blends, and I think it's from that sweet melt. It's something about this is so different. It's so pretty. Sweet hot cookies from Teddy Bee's. Yes, I would absolutely repurchase it. Yes. I'm even thinking about going in on her RTS on Saturday. And I know by the time I post this, it may be over by then. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> There's a couple other blends I wanted to add. <laughs> like I need to. Okay. Back to this uh, K's, which is what uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, candy corn, and coffee. Love this blend from K's. Love it. Love it. Pumpkin pecan waffles and coffee go very, very well together. This is a great blend from K's. Who? This was so strong. This is Jingle Juice. This is a house blend. A sparkling cocktail of juicy fruits and tonic water. Very, very um, kind of. Uh, uh, champagne-y, bubbly, but the fruit, this was so, so strong. Um, it was nice, but very, very strong. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but I didn't mind it. Whew, this was very strong, Jingle Juice. But if you like those type of blends like I do, like the, um, like that cock, it says a spark, like the sparkling, champagne-y, bubbly, sense like I do with the fruit, you would love this jingle juice. Very, very strong. Only needed one cube on that one. <laughs> um, oh, I love this from um, Walmart. A little bit of everything in here. Uh, this is Dream Cloud. It's called Walking on Air. This reminds me of, has a Baccarat Rouge vibe. It reminds me of Ariana Grande Cloud, but there's like a little bit of lavender in there. This is so pretty um, from Sensationals from Walmart. Definitely check this out if you like that type of blend. Um, another one I'm finishing up from Walmart. This is Feeling Cozy, Warm Woods, and Chris Apple. This is pretty. I would, re I would repurchase this. I had this for a while. I was like, let's use it up. It reminds me, it does remind me of like a warm, co cozy, like sweater. It kind of reminds me of a woolen blanket from um, Rose Girls. But it kind of has like a perfumey vibe to it. It's very, very pretty and very strong too. This is like great for winter. Feeling cozy. Walmart. L3, I finished Overboard Champagne. Um, Overboard Champagne Toast, Pink Chiffon, and Strawberry Sugar. So pretty. So pretty. Yes, I finished that up. Yeah, very, very nice. L3 Waxy Wonders. Um, this is Flower Child. Blackberry Jam, Magnolia Petals, Mandarin Plum, White Musk, and Vanilla Bean. This is from Southbound. I always do that. I 
right okay as i was saying flower child by um southbound blackberry jam magical petals mandarin plum white musk and, van and vanilla bean this was very very pretty um uh, it wasn't that strong though i give it like a medium but it was pretty um and this is from southbound it's uh floral but it has blackberry jam magnolia petals it's very pretty though I wish it was a little bit stronger, but I enjoyed it. No complaints. Southbound Flower Child. Whew. This is Santa's Naughty Vixen from Made to Melt. I finished that up. This reminded me of like a Victoria's Secret body care. That's what this reminds me of. This was very, very pretty, by the way. This is one of her scent shots from Made to Melt. Santa's Naughty Vixen. <laughs> the name Santa's Naughty Vixen. <laughs> um, this is from Scoopable Wax Melts. This is, uh, so this is Christmas. Um, yellow cake, birthday cake. So the three cakes blend with um, Kiss and Go. Uh, this is, yes. So it was like a, a tree note. It reminds me of Christmas, but it was really pretty because you get the three cakes in there. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a Christmas tree in the background. Mm, very nice. That is, um, so this is Christmas. See why that it's called that. <laughs> Scoop of wax melts. Um, I have Avo bath from K's, lemongrass, bergamot, and citrus. This was in my son's room. Great. I like Avo Bath too. There's something about it. Maybe it's the citrus, but yeah, lemongrass, um, bergamot, citrus. So very strong Avo Bath. Um, lemon blueberry donuts from Sensational. I wanted to try this because I was like, I seen it there and I love lemon and blueberry. And I was like, let me give this a try. Um, it doesn't, it wasn't giving me like a blueberry vibe or like, it was like a fruity bakery it reminded me of but this was nice i would get this again i i don't i like walmart's wax and it's like every time i go um i've been uh every time i shop i'm like always looking at their wax <laughs> okay a couple more actually these are these are walmart i wanted to finish this up this is girlfriend night from sensational this is really nice. I would get this again. It's Bubbly Berry Bliss. It just reminds me of like a pretty body care, but it has a musky note to it, like a fruity floral musk. Very, very pretty. That's called Girlfriend Night from Sensational. I would get this again. And this is Cotton Candy Clouds from Sensational. I wanted to try this because I, I, there's... I love Cotton Candy Clouds from um, Waxy Taffy, and I actually bought um, this blend in a pre-order, in her last pre-order, so that should be coming in. Um, but I wanted to test it out to see if it was anything similar like Waxy Taffy. But, I mean, it smells pretty in um, here, but this was kind of light. I could barely smell it. I put this in my candle crock, too. But still, it was pretty, though. But it was kind of light. Um, oh, this is my Scentsy Pods. Cranberry Candy Cane. So I was using that up. I think I got this in my whiff box. So, yeah, this is pretty. My husband doesn't like the smell of it, though. <laughs> Cram but it's, you wouldn't think Cranberry Candy Cane kind of like that but it, it was actually nice I like that and the last one I have in here I feel like I'm missing something but maybe not this is a way to a woman's heart this is from everything vice wax this is blueberry blackberry wildberry mousse cheesecake this was so good this was so good look how pretty the sticker is I loved this I would repurchase this and I can't wait till my pre-order from everything vice comes in so um, but all right, let's see. Um, I will be right back and I will grab a few things that I, I am working on. Be right back. Okay. Hi, welcome back. I actually picked out a few things that I'm working on. Um, I finally 
got into my elf candy from Swanky. I love this. Um, this is such a great blend and it's such a beautiful loaf. And it is Cotton Heady Ninny Muggins. Um, and it has uh, green butter mint candy, uh, sugar cookies, ice cream, and birthday cake. This is such a great blend. Um, oh, I love it. I finally broke into this loaf. I'm like, yep, yeah, we're going to break into it. I got to start melting through my peppermint. I ended up <laughs> buying a lot of peppermint. And I'm like, okay, let's start working on it. Um, I am working on woolen blanket. This is so pretty from Rose Girls. It's just like a soft cashmere type of blend. But I might hold this um, toward the warmer um I mean the colder weather, but this is really pretty from Rose Girls. Um, this is Jennifer's Body from uh, Vintage Cheek Scents. This is Don't Be Lime Green Jello because Hell is a teenage girl and Cherry Jennifer is a cherry blow pop. This is like a cherry lime scent. This is very very strong, and I have a few bags of these, so I've been working on this. Yeah, I like it. Um, if you're in the mood for cherry and lime, it kind of smells like a lollipop, actually. So, yes. So that's from Vintage Chic Scents, Jennifer's Body. You don't even want to see my desk. It's so messy right now. Um, this is a custom that I had from Kay's, and I'm trying to finish up some of my customs. So this is Baccarat Rouge 540 Marshmallow Fluff and Vanilla Lace. I have to say, when I first received this, this was kind of light, but now that it's bit, that I've had it for a little while, um, it's just gotten pretty, uh, not strong, but like a good solid medium strong. And this one lasts too. This is so pretty. Like if I'm in the mood for Baccarat Rouge, yes. So this has taken me a little bit to get through, but this is performing so much better right now. And this is from Kay's. And I believe because time went by. <laughs> this is so good. This is Annabelle's doll. This is don't acknowledge the doll instead that melt this blend of pomegranate, strawberry, and cranberry. What a great blend here. Annabelle's doll from VCS. I love this. The cranberry, the strawberry, and the pomegranate. This is so good. So, so good. Great berry blend. Annabelle's doll from Vintage Cheek. Uh, this is Blank Space, and I think this is from the uh, Taylor Swift collection from VCS. Cherry Vanilla Kisses, uh, Vanilla Cotton Candy Skies, and Vanilla Cake Pops. This smells so much better on warm. I feel like the cherry on cold, um, it, it's kind of like, not medicinal, but it's, it's stronger. But when this is melting, it, the cherry softens up. And um, yeah, it's really nice actually with all those bakery notes. And I have a few of these in my collection. So that's Blank, blank Space from VCS. It was one of her postal cards. Um, this is Daydreams, and I love this. Uh, this is Fluffy Towels, Lavender, Fresh Linen, Swedish Dream Salt. Great, great laundry blend. And I like, I've been liking laundry blends lately, so this is so strong. Whew. And I have a few of these in my collection, and I didn't realize that I had this. But yeah, very great uh, blend from Rose Girls, Daydreams. Um, I picked up these bags in a D stash, and I have, um, I mean, these are performing so well. I don't know how old these are, but I got a great deal on it. I bought them with Macari. And um, this is from Southbound. Uh, this is Coffee House Eggnog. It's fresh roasted coffee, butter, coconut, flake, coconut flakes, vanilla bean, maple syrup, roasted nuts, and spiked eggnog. It's like an eggnog coffee blend. This is so good. It's performing so, so well. Oh, I love it. It's so good. So I'm like halfway done with it. Now I picked up another blend. So um, this is Wildberry Cheesecake with zucchini bread. It's called Wildberry Cheesecake Bread. And um, yeah, this is so, so good. The Wildberry Cheesecake and the zucchini go so well together. 
And I have um, a bag that I purchased because she was selling them through it like this. Um, three bags and one D stash. <laughs> if I'm saying that right. So I have one with blueberry too, but I'm finishing up the um, the wildberry cheesecake and zucchini bread. It's so, so good. And this glass too. I don't know how old this is, but uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with these southbound um, bags. <laughs> oh, this is taking me a moment to get through. This is um, Cookie Monster by Teddy B's. Like, I cut it up. I kind of wish I didn't cut it up because the wax is so soft. This smells so good on um, cold, but I feel like um, this is Cookie Monster. It's, I, and I probably have shown this in the past before. It's big vanilla macaroons, sweet vanilla cookies, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's a light vanilla scent is what it is. It smells really good on cold, but um, yeah, it's not that strong, but it's vanilla and sometimes vanillas don't come out or like sugar cookies don't come out that strong. So, but I've been trying to use this and blend with it and I even cut them down into like small pieces, like something like that. But yes, oh my gosh, it smells so good in the bag. So I've been blending with it, but I'm trying to work through that and finish that up. This is from VCS. This is, we'll always have 1927 pink uh, strawberry milk exclusive VCF's fruity blend. This is so beautiful. It's like a fruity strawberry milk. Oh, I love this. I will always have 1927. What a great blend this is. This performs so well, by the way. It's not milky at all. It's fruity, but you get the strawberry in there. And I feel like the milk makes it a little bit creamy too. So yes, that's from VCS. I'm finished. I'm almost done with this, but I love this blend. And I have another loaf of this. This is from Scoopable Wax Melts. Pink Coconut Waffle Cone. Pink Sugar Strawberry Pound Cake Waffle Cone in Gilligansburg. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This performs so well. Oh my gosh. It's the pink sugar and the um, Gilligan's brew, and then you have strawberry pound cake in there, waffle cone. This is an excellent blend. If she ever offers this, I mean, I still have a loaf, <laughs> but I would definitely recommend it if you like pink sugar like I do. This is horror movie from BCS. This is how to... I'm sorry, How to Survive a Horror Movie. Blackberry, Orange Sugary, Berry Punch, and Fizzy Pop. She does fruity blends so well. She really, really does. They just come alive on and warm. Mm. The Fizzy Pop isn't too much in this. It just brightens it up a little bit. But boy, is this good. A nice fruity blend from Vintage Cheek Scents. Really, really nice. Then the last one, oh, I have two more. <laughs> I'm like, I just grabbed a bunch. This one is, this is performing so well. This is another pink sugar blend. This is Blanche and Baby Jean. And um, this is Enjoy it, the Pink Vanilla Butterfudge Cookies on a Silver Platter. It's way better than the alternative. Great pink sugar bakery blend. And this does so, so well. I have a little bit left in this. I've been loving this. And I actually found another loaf of this in my stash. Oh my gosh, it's like I have to smell it. It's that vanilla butterfudge and pink sugar. Fabulous. Um, and this is from Everything Vice Wax. Strawberry shortcake. Great strawberry blend. It is strawberry pound cake and strawberry soda. This is so strong. I love it. Love it. Strawberry soda and strawberry pound cake. Whew. Reminds me of strawberry shortcake for sure. I love the sticker. Isn't the sticker adorable? But okay, that's basically <laughs> what I melted um, for the month of March. And I have um, my empties going for the month of April right now. I know this was kind of late into the month, but it's just I, I was sick like the last week or for, into the first week of April, and then I got behind and I wanted to really catch up on my wax orders and all that fun stuff. So 
um, be on the lookout because I'm going to be going over some um, more wax orders from scoopable wax melts I need to do. I have like five boxes of that. <laughs> Rose girls too. <laughs> um, so yes, but anyway, guys, let me know in the comments if you've melted any of these blends or have them in your collection. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, if you hung in there with me, I know my video is really long. Um, I really appreciate it. And I just want to say thank you for all your support. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and night. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Take care.